Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Matthew Ahmed. Today I'll be guiding you through the process of creating a chatbot in VoiceFlow. We'll then integrate it with making Google Sheets, uh, focusing on lead generation for a solar panel company as requested by CoupleCut. So grab a coffee, settle in and let's dive right in. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to the VoiceFlow website and sign up to that if you haven't done that already. So you just go to the top link at voiceflow.com and then you'll select get started uh, follow that procedure and then we can start with the next bit so once you've logged into your voice flow you're going to want to create a new assistant i'm just going to call this solar panel chatbot and we're going to want to build this as an ai assistant we're going to click continue we're going to select the channel we want it as a web chat and a language whichever language you want to pick but i'm going to pick uh, english and then we're just going to hit create assistant once you log in this is here to help you learn voice flow so all you want to do is just click on each one of these and just select delete and it will delete them all. So you just want to get rid of all of these. So you're going to start with your start. So similar to bot press, you're going to have your start from here. We have all our responses and text and all that sort of stuff down the side. So from this, so we're just going to grab our first text box here. Um, I'm going to call this greeting in this text box. We are going to write, hello, I'm solar genie, your solar panel assistant. Are you looking to harness solar energy for your home or business? You can click here to generate different variations of this if you want. I will show you this now, which will give you different phrases created by AIs. Okay, so then we're going to want to get a button. And this button, we're just going to call this home inquiry. We are going to add another button. And we are just going to call this one business inquiry because we're going to have two sections in this chatbot today. And then from there, we're going to take the home one and come off and add another text. And we're just going to name this home inquiry and then in the text we are going to put fantastic choice for a greener home to tailor the best solar solution for you may i know your average electric bill and then we're going to get the user to respond to that so we're going to go over here and we're going to get a capture which we're going to stick under that one now we need to set up some variables okay so i've just copied the variables in here that we need so we need to create name email business name phone number home bill sunlight business size and business bill so we're going to be sticking these in here but i'll show you a better way of doing this because most people show you in here by selecting this control a and then you type and then hit create new variable you can do it that way if you want to but if you come up to here where it says n l u model this is your variables here so we want name making sure that all of these are lowercase and spelt correctly because this will affect your api call from make and there we go so we just hit create so once we've done that we've got them all here we can just close out of this by just clicking on the back screen this one here is for our home inquiry so this will be our electricity bill for home so if we just go in here we can find home bill you can either type that or just select it and then what we're going to need to do then is duplicate this one so we duplicate that we'll drag it below and we're going to connect these two together and then we're going to change this writing in here we're just going to come over to here and thanks and approximately how many hours of direct sunlight does your home receive daily under this one we are going to change this to sunlight and then we're going to need to create a new text now underneath this is going to be where we start capturing their name just before we do that we can start the business one uh, if we bring that over and um, we do that as a text. We just place that one over here. And we're just going to call this one business inquiry. And then we're going to put in our words up here, which is solar energy is a smart move for business. Can you tell me the size of your facility in square feet? And then we're going to have to put in a variable for this. So once that is done, we are then going to have to do another capture. And then as we already done, this is going to be the size. So we're going to do business size. And that's that one done. And then we're going to right click duplicate drag this down copy it again and then we're going to just call this one in business inquiry 2 and we're just going to change this writing out here now and your average monthly electricity bill for the facility and then we're going to go down to here and we're going to change it from business size to business bill what we're going to do over here is we're going to call this a name and we are going to ask them for their name so we're just going to click in this box we're almost there please can we have your name and we're going to go over here and get a capture so this one's going to be name. We're going to drag this one down to this one. All we need to do is one, duplicate this. And we're just going to basically grab this one to here because it's going to be the same. If we just duplicate this one three more times, drag these down. And then basically we're going to call this one email. So this one will be 
phone number and the last one's going to be business name so we're just going to drag each one of these into each one of these we're going to change the writing so we got the name done so on the email we are just going to put and your email please on the phone number we're just basically going to do the same and put on your phone number so then we're just going to select this one and we're just going to change this to phone number and then we're going to do the business and we're just going to change this one out to and lastly your business name and again we need to change this variable to business name so we just need to connect all these together now so we're just going to drag these down to each one like so we're going to want to duplicate uh we're going to want to duplicate these four so let's duplicate that last one and then basically we're just going to copy these ones across here and we're going to connect all these together as well and those should all be set up oh sorry this one here we just need to delete because we don't need that one and then basically what we're going to be doing is capturing all this information into an api so we need to go to dev api we will then connect this one to it and this one and in here we're going to get a request still but we just need to change this to post because we want it to go out so git is to bring it in post is to put it out and then in the body we need to change all these variables again in here because this is what we want to send to our google sheet we need to have eight of these and these are going to be name email business name and so on so you're just going to basically fill out each one of these in here so i'll show you the first one i'm going to skip ahead on the video for you we do name we we'll do name and then we're going to go one okay so once you've done that you'll end up with name email business name etc etc it should look exactly like this um then we're going to hit send request but we're not going to do that right now because we need to go over to make.com so this is make um, we're going to be creating a webhook to a google sheet um so if we just open up a new window so you just go to make and sign up if you haven't already but you're going to want to come into here you want to find your webhook which is here and you want to do a custom webhook add one and we're going to call this solar panel chatbot save and this is going to give us our hook here so we copy this address and we're going to paste it in here this is now waiting for us to send some data to it so what we're going to do go back to here we're going to hit send request and we're going to do a test so you can put real data in here if you want to but i'm just going to do this for test purposes and um, we just hit send request that's sent because it says it's okay so we're just going to leave this open and we're just going to go back to our chat and it says successfully determined that is now captured that you're going to want to add a google sheet so just type google and find um google sheets oops and um, we're going to want to add a row uh so if you haven't already you need to create this file here which is name email business name phone number electricity bill etc so it will capture the data from the home user it will capture these two this one this one and this one and the business it will capture these four and these two here uh any that it doesn't capture any information it will put zero in so we'll know whether it's a home user or a business user so let's go back and select the right file so we have called this one lead gen so we just want to find that document and then we're going to go sheet one as long as that's what you've called it i know it's going to find all the tables now make sure this is yes and then each one of these we are going to select the right one so we're going to email business name phone number this one will be home bill this one will be sunlight this one will be business size and business bill and then just click ok on the bottom and then we want to run this again and if we go back to our solar panel chatbot and hit resend it will resend it again and you'll see these are come up with two symbols which says that it's sent test and this is sent the information here with the updates that it's found eight and then in here we will have test 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 that is how you set up a make automation so the last thing we need to do now is just click off this and we just need to make the last bit of the bot uh, we want to make a text and in this one we would just want to put this which is thank you name our solar experts will contact you shortly with the tailored solution and um, we're just going to name this success that just means that it worked correctly and then we want to fail one which we'll do a text again and we'll put fail so we're going to put oops there seems to be an issue process in your request don't worry our team will look into it you can also reach out to us directly at and then you just put your email so your at contact.com and then that's that one done and then we just want to add in an um, end and we just want to put those two to there and then that should be everything done now if you want to test the bot 
you can come to the start here and you can just go start and then you choose which route you want to go so we'll just go home and just before i continue on this i just want to go to here and just make sure this is on and what it will do now is so it's asking me for how much we're just going to say 200 pounds uh how much sunlight we're going to say 12 hours so my name is matt i am matt at matt.com phone number is so once that is done it will come back with api successful if you want to turn these on by the way you can debug them here I turn on debug mode if you turn these off it will stop doing that but i'll just turn them on while i'm testing that is how you create a solar panel voice flow chatbot and if you go over here now you will see the information that we put in uh enjoy